So we're back with question four of the 2020 VCAR chemistry exam. And this one, by the looks of it, is about a cell of some kind, whether it be a, um, well, it looks like a galvanic cell, to be fair. Research scientists are developing a rechargeable lithium carbon dioxide battery. Sounds fancy. The rechargeable lithium carbon dioxide battery is made of lithium metal carbon in the form of graphite uh, coated with a catalyst. Fantastic. And a non-aqueous electrolyte that absorbs carbon dioxide. Fabulous. This is our basic schematic diagram. When the lithium carbon dioxide cell generates electricity, we have two half cell reactions here. So generating electricity, so generating electricity, this is when we are doing a galvanic style. Okay, and it's discharge. So write the following, so write the equation for the overall recharge reaction. So what that means is we're going to reverse whatever reactions we have here. If this is discharge, re recharge means we're going backwards. But regardless of that, let's just try and add these two equations together and then we'll flip it around as we go along. First thing I need to know is the fact that our electrons must be the same, so I have to times that by four, and I'll add the two things together. So I'm going to have four lithium positive plus three CO2 and then my electrons are going to cancel out, plus four lithium metals. And that's going to form um, two lithium carbonates and a carbon and four lithium um, ions on this side. So I'm just simply adding them together. This is the overall thing for discharge. So if I want recharge, I'm going to go back the other way. I'm also going to cancel down some of these ions which are on both sides. I can see these lithium ions are on both sides. So let's recharge this and say we're going to have our carbon reacting with two lithium carbonates and that's going to form four lithium uh, metal and three carbon dioxides in, and this is going to be my recharge. So this is my discharge. I'm going to cross that out again because I need to know recharge. I'm going to leave that for the examiners to actually mark. Now, just double checking, we've got one of those, two of those, four of those, that's fine, and three of those. That's all good. There's no states in my equation here, so I don't need to copy states down here. So we're assuming that states are not required in this equation um, because we don't know what they actually are. But there's an overall recharge reaction, which is the opposite of my discharge, which is important to know. Moving on. During discharge, lithium carbonate breaks away from the electrode. How might this affect the performance of the battery? Okay, so what we're saying is this is created and it breaks away from my thing. This, well, important thing in rechargeable batteries is the fact that our products must stay in contact with our electrodes. So if this is breaking away, it's going to stop the recharge from happening. So I need to talk about the performance. So therefore, I'm going to say the performance performance will decrease as the um, Li2CO3 is required for recharge if it breaks away the breaks away this cell cannot be recharged and thus um, will have a lower lifespan that's probably bad use of words, but um, that's the idea there. The key thing here is the fact that this is a rechargeable battery and our products of our reaction that produces electricity, they must stay in contact with the electrode. If that breaks away, it cannot be used to recharge it. So therefore, um, the battery will actually die basically. Question C, explain why it is unsafe to use aqueous electrolytes in the design of a lithium car. Well, lithium, first of all, aqueous and lithium. Lithiums are alkali metal, which means it can react with water. So therefore, include appropriate equations in your answer. Okay, you should also know that these things here are also on your electrochemical series. So let's just grab an electrochemical series and see what happens when we add water to it. So here is our um, lithium. We've got lithium metal, which is there. The reason actually we use lithium metal in these particular cells is because it has a really, really, um, well, it's got 
negative three potential volts here. So therefore, it's a very, very strong um, reductant. So therefore, it has the ability to produce lots of electricity. But lithium also reacts with water. You can see water's here as well. So therefore, lithium and water are going to react really well together. And you're going to produce hydrogen gas, which again is a gas. So therefore, it's going to actually build up gas inside your cell and perhaps potentially explode it. But also, hydrogen is flammable, which is not ideal either. So let's have a look at this. So therefore, we know that water will react with the lithium metal uh, lithium metal to produce um, hydrogen gas okay and we can look at that in terms of any appropriate equations so therefore i'll say the fact that um, h2o liquid will let's have a look at our equation here copying it directly from my um, electrochemical series. Let's try and get those both in shot there. Yep. Plus two electrons forms H2 gas plus two hydroxides. Alrighty, and then lithium here, solid, is going to form lithium ions plus two electrons, no, plus just one electron. And therefore, our hydrogen gas there is explosive. So therefore, lithium will react with lithium metal to produce hydrogen gas. Here's my reactions. It's three marks, so I'm going to say also the fact that um, hydrogen is flammable. Hydrogen gas is dangerous. Okay, flammable. And therefore, that's why it is unsafe to do so. So I've got what's going to happen. Um, that's there. I might also indicate why that happens. Uh, no, I won't. I'll just leave it at that. I reckon, that's, I reckon that's three marks worth. We'll move on. D. Could lithium carbon dioxide battery used to be used to generate, sorry, reduce the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere? Give your reasoning. Alrighty, what's happening here? Can I see carbon dioxide being used up? Um, carbon dioxide here is a reactant when it's generating electricity, but you can also see that carbon dioxide here is a product when we recharge it. So therefore, what's going to happen is it's not going to actually reduce CO2 from the atmosphere. So a lithium-2 carbon dioxide, sorry, lithium carbon dioxide battery is not going to reduce it because um, CO2 used when generating electricity is produced when recharging. So therefore there is no net change change in CO2 levels. So therefore it's carbon neutral, but it's not carbon neutral as in like not putting carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, it's carbon neutral as in not taking anything out of the atmosphere. It's not going to reduce the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere. It's just not going to increase it by any means. So therefore, we have our answer to question four of this exam. Uh, that was quite a nice one, actually. A nice, pretty straightforward um, electrochemistry um, question.